In order to control the population issue, family planning has been carried out worldwide. A scientist thinks that it is possible to create robotic children for families to adopt, that rober must meet human emotional needs. To make a robot look like a real human, they invented artificial intelligence love program, in order to make the robot possess the human emotions and love. This woman had a son being terminal illness. The current science world cannot cure it. Until one day the doctor told them that the child did not live much longer. Fortunately, scientists have found a test subject for a robot child. The husband accepted to be a tester. He brought the robot kid named David home with the hope that his wife would not be upset. Unexpectedly Monica could not accept it, she said that nothing in this world could replace her son. But David grew more lovable, more obedient, and but he's not close to everyone. The next day, Monica opens the boy's love program. Since then, the love for his mother has become the only reason to exist in the life of the boy. Monica had to take her child's old toy, a teddy bear, for the boy to play with. David began to see love overflowing in his life. Unexpectedly, the advancement of science made Monica's biological son, Martin, recover from the disease. Since then, Monica spent her love for her real son more thought David. In his heart, David still thought that he was also his mother's child without knowing that he was a robot. Martin teased the boy by filling his mouth with full of food. That leads to the circuit to be short and had to be repaired. Then, Martin instigated the boy to take scissors to cut a hair from his mother while his mother slept to make her love him more. The information was immediately established in David's program. At night, David did as Martin said, making his mother scared to wake up. The haircut is gathered by the teddy bear. The husband extremely angry. He thinks that David wants to harm her, so he tells her to throw David away. But Monica was determined not to believe David deliberately harmed her. On Martin's birthday, a friend of Martin scares David to panic. This stimulates the defense mechanism in David, causing the boy to run again and hide behind Martin. But unfortunately both fell into the swimming pool. Monica saw it and thought that David wanted to harm her son. After that even though David wrote a letter of apology, Monica tearfully decided to leave the boy. Monica led David into the forest to leave him alone. David frantically apologized, pleading with Monica to let him be her real child. But the mother still determinedly ruthlessly abandoned the boy like throwing away her pet. David thinks that, since he is not human, his mother doesn't love him anymore. He once heard his mother tell the story of the wooden man, Pinocchio, the green fairy in that story who can turn a wooden man into a real person. Therefore, David decided to find the green fairy in the story. The boy encountered a group of people hunting for robots. David was caught by them in a robot destruction workshop. Joe is a cowboy robot, quite handsome. He fascinated them with the magic of his background music. One day he found out that his client had a broken. He ran right away, but he is still caught in the robot destruction factory. There, robots were murdered by countless tortures, extremely cruel. And the people below both cheered and screamed passionately. David was extremely scared and clutched Joe's hand. At that time, the host came over. He was a very hatred for robots. He wants to destroy both of them at the same time. David was terrified, screaming not to burn him. He was not a Pinocchio. He was David. His desire to live makes people think he is a human child, not a robot. So everyone strongly opposed to save David. David and Joe successfully escaped. They started their journey to find the Blue Fairy. They meet Dr. No and learn that in Manhattan there is a professor who can turn robots into real people. It just likes the magic of a Blue Fairy. At that time, the police arrived. The two of them took the opportunity to take the police plane to continue the journey to Manhattan. After a long journey, they stopped at a building. David spotted a robotic boy who is the same as him. David was stunned. He always thought that he was the only one. Seeing another version of himself constantly talking, David felt chaotic and unable to control his emotions. David destroyed that the same robot and kept saying that he was actually David. Joe saw this and was terrified. At this point, the professor came up and praised David as the greatest robot. He says David is the only robot with his own feelings and desires. Then David entered another room. He saw a pile of robots identical to him. The world in him collapsed completely. It turned out that he was just a pitiful experiment. That he is not unique. He cannot become human. Painful and desperate, David jumped down from the building to put an end to his life. However, when he sank to the sea, 
David suddenly saw the bloof. David wanted to see clearer, but Joe saved his life. David told Joe that he saw the blue fairy, and she was on the sea. Just finished speaking, Joe was taken away by the police. Joe activated the submarine function of the plane, and told the boy that if he could become a real person, tell everyone that Joe once really existed. David controls the submarine, goes down to the sea floor, where the blue fairy lives, but it turned out to be just a statue. However, David still desperately wants to be turned into a human, and wants to have his mother's love. So he stayed in the plane very long, and prayed to the blue fairy. The boy prayed that please save him, make him a real person. Until 2000 years later, the world is now frozen, people are extinct, there are only aliens on Earth. While they were exploring the signal on the seabed, they discovered that David had been frozen on the seafloor. They reactivated him, and began to follow him. They looked at him like a rare antique. David awoke still did not forget his wish. He went to touch the blue fairy statue, and it suddenly crumbled to pieces, like David's dream shattered. The aliens have restored his home, but he couldn't find his mother. At that time, the alien used a 3D fairy to tell him that humans have perished for a long time, and his mother is no longer in this world. David sobbed and said, why he couldn't bring his mother back. The fairy said that it would need someone's bones or nails to do it. But the time of exist is only one day. At that time, the teddy bear takes out his mother's hidden strands of hair that year. In fact, David has always believed Martin's lie that his mother will love him more and more. The aliens say they want to make him happy, so his mother's life restoration process is completed. David went into her bedroom and found his mother lying there. When she woke up, he made her a cup of coffee. Mother bathed him, drawing pictures with him. They together celebrated David's birthday. Night fell, he knew his mother was about to disappear, he cried while hugging her tightly. He grasped his mother's hand and fell asleep. Finally, after 2000 years, he became the child that his mother loved most.